An illegal trend is being delivered to central Kentucky. Investigators say the legal sale of marijuana in some other states has led to more people sending the drug by mail. And some of those packages end up in states where marijuana is illegal, like Kentucky. Miranda Combs investigates marijuana by mail. There is no room for error in here. Letters and packages are sorted and sent on. They are kept sealed, but that doesn't mean the sender can't be caught. You're trying to catch it here before it gets into Lexington. Yes, Lexington is a destination city, meaning that drugs are typically shipped here from other locations. And the trend as of late is mailing marijuana. Well, what we see through the Postal Service most is, is marijuana. Roberta Bottoms has been a postal inspector in Lexington for 15 years. She says marijuana has always been a problem for investigators. In fact, years ago, the marijuana was grown in Kentucky and shipped out of the state. Lately, with some states legalizing the drug, it's trendy to send it from a legal state to one where it's illegal, like here. You cannot mail marijuana legally. If you're shipping marijuana, you are committing a federal crime. See how tight this is? They kind of heat, heat shrink it to, uh, and it's shrink wrapped. These containers are full of marijuana. This would have been on the streets of Lexington. I think this one was probably a tip from a, a local post office. This came out of the mail uh, in the last week or two. Bottom says one help for investigators lately is medical marijuana is more potent. The smell was enough to fill the office. It's hard to disguise this. This isn't uncommon for postal inspectors. This is a lot of money. I don't know what the value of it is, but here locally, to sell this locally, yeah, this was a big hit for whoever got it intercepted. She says there is a formula for how most make it to Lexington. Traffickers get a third party, many times college students, to accept the package and typically pay them for their trouble. So they may accept a package at their apartment or even at their dorm room um, for somebody else and be paid $100, $200 to do that. Those people are, in essence, acting as a drug mule. And the address on the package is where law enforcement will start their investigation. A lot of times they will say, well, I just that was asked to receive a package. I didn't really know what was in it. There's this thing in the wall called deliberate blindness. It's not a defense for you to say, I didn't know. And a federal charge isn't worth the chance. A lot of times local people are recruited and paid a fairly small amount of money to receive packages from someone who's shipping this from somewhere else. It's not worth someone here locally taking the risk of being a part of a federal crime for a small amount of money. Postal inspectors work closely with local and federal authorities to find out who is shipping the drugs. Here in Lexington, they say they get drug packages in their office on a weekly basis. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a big college town, so there must be some concern about these drug traffickers recruiting students. Right, and as we all remember, one $200 as a college student is a lot of money, so it can be very enticing. But she says, like she said, it's not worth the federal charge. All right, Miranda, thank yeah. you.